calling this rally. We started this campaign because Robert Pinter spoke out, just like our brothers and sisters before. That's the tradition we celebrate today, and we're here to keep that fight on. So I give you Robert Pinter, founder of the campaign to stop the false arrest campaign. Thank you. When the handcuffs clicked on my wrist on the evening of October 10th, 2008, an incredible energy was released from deep within me that has given me a greater sense of purpose and connects me directly to the spirit of the Stonewall Rebellion that emerged on these same streets over the course of several warm evenings in the June of 1969. All right. It is that spirit that compels me to stand here today to tell you it doesn't matter if you are one of the men falsely arrested for prostitution while leaving a Manhattan adult video store, or a Latina or African American lesbian being assaulted and arrested by the NYPD outside of a club in Brooklyn just a few weeks ago. To the police officers who violated us, we are all queers, faggots, trannies, and dykes. Today, we queers, faggots, trannies, and dykes rise up as they did back in June of 69 and say, enough! 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 Frederick Douglass, the African-American abolitionist, said, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. Today we demand that, number one, D.A. Morgenthau complete and release the investigation you promised the LGBT community on March 6th call for a dismissal of all the false arrest cases. Prosecute any wrongdoing by the NYPD. And if you can't get it done, I'm calling on the next DA to step up, conduct and complete a thorough and vigorous investigation. Number two, Mayor Bloomberg, Speaker Quinn, and New York City elected officials speak out against NYPD abuse and provide effective oversight and protection of our civil rights. Yeah. All right. Number three, NYPD Commissioner Kelly meet with community leaders to end police misconduct and ensure fair and just policing. Yeah. I believe in dignity, respect, and compassion for all, especially those who may oppose us. Of the men who were falsely arrested, of those that we can discern, one-third were white, one-third were African-American, one-third were Latino, and one man was Asian. They, they, uh, uh, they identify as gay, bisexual, and straight. To my knowledge, none lived in Chelsea where many of the false arrests occurred. To the other arrestees, I say this. I know the pain... I know the pain and anger and humiliation you feel. Your life disrupted. The stress and sleepless nights. The success of the false arrest police operation counts on your shame and secrecy. No one must ever know. I understand I was there myself. Today I choose to stand here for you and speak up. This has created some change already. A legal aid attorney who represented many of these cases, including mine, credited the activism in the gay community with changing the courtroom environment surrounding these arrests raising the awareness about what the police are doing and forcing the city to respond. For now, these dubious arrests have declined. But have the false arrests stopped for good? That remains unclear. An election season lull seems far more likely than a permanent end due to a social justice conversion at the NYPD. The campaign to stop the false arrests will not be lulled by a lull. We are forging ties with like-minded groups across New York City. If the false arrests begin to spike again after the November elections, we will take action. Yay! 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 Right here on the very spot our civil rights movement began 40 years ago, I urge you all to join me. Stand up. Your help will add tremendous power and momentum to this undertaking. I encourage you to live lives of dignity and respect free from fear and shame about our God-given sexual nature and ensure the protection of our most fundamental of civil liberties, freedom from false arrest and imprisonment. 
Please join me in this campaign to stop the false arrests for good. Yes. Thank you. All right.